It's Randy coming at you here with another daily nugget. Today's daily nugget is actually found in Hebrews chapter 1, or sorry, chapter 11, verse 1. And it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now, go ahead, like usual, go ahead and comment on the video. Let, uh, let me know what you think about it, what you think about the scripture. Maybe you've heard it before, maybe you haven't, but let's just go ahead and have a, have a little conversation down in the comic section and we'll go on into what the scripture is talking about. So it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So Substance here actually means what something is made of. So faith actually is what is the substance of hope. So hope is made up of faith. You can't hope for something unless you have faith in something. So it actually, I don't know if you are able to see it right here. This is actually pistis. That is the Greek word for faith. And that comes from a word that's called patho, which means to convince but pistis actually translates to persuasion. So it actually is just, it's basically saying that when you're talking about faith or you're having faith, that's a persuasion that you have. Uh, something that's real close to it is when Paul says in Romans 8, I believe it's verse 38, where he says, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor death nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. That's also verse 39. So I just wanted to kind of break that down a little for you. I, I think actually uh, it goes a little more into it in verse 13, where it said, these all died in faith. What it's actually referring to is it later talks about Abram and Sarah. And the people that it's talking about, Abram, and Sarah are the ones that he's saying have died in faith. What that's basically saying is that when they died, they didn't, they didn't see the promise that God was giving them. They, so they died in faith, meaning they were still holding on to it. They were still holding on to what God promised them. It's, and it goes on and it says, not having, uh, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off. And were persuaded of them, embraced them, confessed them that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Uh, so basically it's saying that they were, pers uh, and, and I, I love that because it actually describes how faith is. It's saying they didn't see it. And what it's really saying here is Abram and Sarah didn't see when God promised them that their seed would be as numerous as the sons of the, uh, as the stars that are in the sky or as the sands in the sea. They did not physically see that. So when they died, they died in faith, having not received that, but they held on to it. They, they didn't see it come in full fruition, but they held on to it. And when they died, they died still holding on to that faith. And that's just what I wanted to, that's just what I wanted to share with you. I, I actually did, uh, this is something that I want you to, uh, to hold with is that faith is something we hold on to right on above on to and something we profess. So it's not only something that you confess to God and you say, well, God, I have faith that this is going to happen, but you can hold on to it because God has promised many things to, to multiple ones, of, uh, multiple people. They've, uh, there's words that he is, that he's maybe given to you and maybe, maybe he hasn't given you a specific word, but you know what you have? You have the word of God and the promises that are in the word of God are promises that are for you. And I just wanted to leave that with you. Be blessed in Jesus name.